Oh, not at all where I wanted to end up, but I'll take it. Wait, do I even have bombs? Oh, well, that was just me. I keep forgetting. I am playing a different game. Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys part 22 of Spyro Heroes Tales. So I was playing Wrath of Cortex, right? I was starting to record part 7. Due to the emulator, there is actually a really bad glitch that prevents you from even playing the game. And so... Okay. Um, so I literally cannot record that for right now. So until I find a fix, that series is going to be delayed until further ado. And these... These... Are you serious? What was that? Why did it, like, have a stroke? Also, what is hitting me exactly? Shoot me, I dare you. Oh. Okay, so there's just straight up no way to av to avoid him, I guess? That's nice to know, game. That's a huge oversight, that the wing shield is literally the most useless ability in the entirety of the game. Also, there's a light gem up there, so how do I get to that exactly? I'm pretty sure I was supposed to be able to wall jump on these surfaces. Also, can you please attack the enemy? Wait, I'm pretty sure I can wall jump. Like, right here, right? No, I guess not. So I guess we'll have to backtrack around here. It's this poison stuff. It has like a really weird hitbox, and that enemy that's shooting me is just becoming annoying. Alright, we made it over here. Which has some dark gem shards and a robot in a turret. That is not at all interesting. Wait, how do I kill him then? Oh, it's a dark gem in a cage. Wait a minute. How much do you want to bet it's this breath? Ow. It is. And you can't even use the turret. Okay. Okay, these enemies are relentless here. Holy cow. And that opened up the cage. Good. Good. So I guess I'm just going to be mass recording this game until we're done it, because at this point, man, every game that I'm trying to play, uh, Enter the Dragonfly has huge slowdown just because it's a bad game and it's janky. Uh, Crash Bandicoot is just broken, and yeah, so I guess we'll destroy this one. Open up this pipe. Hmm... Seems weird to just have a random chest up here and nothing else, but... And then I guess we have this one over here. Yay. So we know where one of the... We know where the third light gem is. How to get to it, though, I'm not entirely sure. It might be that we have to loop around or something. Or... I just have to think about it a little. Oh, there's Blink. I was wondering where Blink was. Ah, we can actually hurt Blink with that, that's funny. Um, okay. Well, that's a different section, so I guess we'll talk to Blink and do his section. Normally, I'd be freaking out right now, desperate to get underground. But for some reason, I don't feel that bad. Maybe that's because you're already underground. Hey, you're right. Should I explore below ground? Ah, yes, you mean just walk around because clearly we're underground? You dumb mole. Alright, so out of the entire ice area, the only level that I didn't like was, uh, Blink, because first of all, it froze. But it was also really weird. It was the only thing, like I said, that I... Wait, is that a shard up there? Oh no, it's just... It's just purple tinted. Well, not at all where I wanted to end up, but I'll take it. 
Wait, do I even have bombs? Oh, well, that was just me. I keep forgetting. I am playing a different game other than the one that I was literally just playing before this, so the controls are back to being weird. I don't think we want to go down there yet, though, because we don't have any bombs. Whoa. Hang on there, platform. Come back. Wait. Are you telling me this platform went... Okay. Weird. Please give me bombs. Like, I have no bombs. Wait, don't tell me that the bombs are all the way down there. Oh my god, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to backtrack. Die, spider. Are you serious? I'm gonna die because he's not locking on to the spider. Bomb dispensers. Like, I already know how bomb dispensers work, game, and I don't know why you're telling me all these tips again. Wait, why are you telling me all the tips on how to play again? You didn't tell me these in the last one. Also, you guys give me butterflies and all, which is cool, but they're like a million miles away. Which is fun. Oh, you actually ate that. Cool. And I lost my butterfly again, cuz... Yay. Logic. Okay, well, at least we can backtrack. Wait, it doesn't save the progress of the destroyed bombs? Well, that's annoying. So that should destroy it, though. Like, you do know that... You made this part... Unfairly difficult, because the spiders return, which is... Annoying, to say the least. So I think we can kill this one for good. But, like, why would you design it so enemies can respawn? Despite having the worst combat in the game. Mmm. Mmm. And the worst jump physics. Holy Toledo. Oh, and, um, apparently the worst enemy hitboxes and wall hitboxes in the entire universe. Okay. Or it just don't work. I'm gonna grab these bombs, because at least with that... Alright, yep. You do your thing there, lava bubble, or lava blobbles. Alright. This is not at all. <clears throat> this is not at all fun. Okay, so it does save your... Why do you tell me this tip every time we start playing, game? Hmm. Yes. Thank God for video editing, because I'm 99% just going to speed this up, because nobody wants to watch me suffer for an eternity at a blink the mole level that is just designed to be hot garbage. And I don't even know how I made that that time. Also, there's a platform there. Did you see that? So how did that spider not die? It just... Straight up just didn't die. I don't even know how that didn't get destroyed, but wait, is that a dark gem up there? It is. Or a shard. So I guess technically Blink always destroys the equivalent of like one dark gem. I'm going to assume that's what it is. Alright, I guess we'll take this up then. Upward ho! Hmm. 
Oh, and it's just gonna drop me off right here. Is there like a place I can dig through a wall or something? Maybe find a bomb dispenser without falling in the lava or something? Wait, can I just take that platform right there? Oh yeah, there's a gem over there, but that's not what I need. I need the bomb dispenser. Yeah, I can just take this. And ride it all the way over here. I just wish the camera angle was better here, because let's be real, that camera angle is... It leaves much to be desired. That's, that's for a fact. I hate though, like, if you mess up once here, you're pretty much screwed. And have to do all that backtracking again and redo everything. Which, once again, is a huge complaint to this game. There we go. And luckily you can climb across this, so it's not that bad. But just make sure you see your shadow before letting go, that way you know you don't die. And hopefully... I'm just waiting for it to freeze on me, man. I am just waiting for it to freeze. Alright, we can climb through this wall, and hopefully this leads us to a bomb dispenser. Wait, there was a Zoe there. Never mind. We only need two more, so that's good. And just in case we didn't have a save, there's a save right there. Luckily this time, I don't see a single, um... I clicked the third time, but... Yeet! Sir, die. That or the bomb was going to kill you, but I still prefer to kill you myself. And, just so we don't have to do that again, we'll do this. Also, I don't know why my TV is controlling itself again. It does that every time I record. My remote is on an empty bed, alone. Also, I really hate the hitbox when you're, like, standing on a ledge. I don't even know why I bothered with those. So that's the second to last dark jump. I'm only going to do the first part, that way you guys can see the level itself. And then I'll come back and do the other ones on my own. So we've seen the ice one in its entirety, and we've seen this one in its entirety. So I'll do them off screen, because I'm going to have like a post-game episode where I'll, I'll just show you where I collect all the missing stuff. I thought there was a platform. Oh, there is a platform. This is weird. Alright, can I hit that? Again, nice. I don't even know where that platform goes, but... Uh, uh. Well, happily, you eat bombs. Wait. Can I, like, throw the bomb? Alright. Okay, that's just proven to be useless. Hmm. All right, what do we got going on over here? Oh, I see the last dark gem over there. Wait, what? I think it was the bats that hit me, but they're fodder, so I don't know if they actually hit me or not. I don't actually know what hit me. Well, that bat's dead, just in case it's the bats, you know? They could technically count as enemies, but then also count as, um... There we go. That's gotta be where another Dark Gem is. So, like I said, I'll go and do the second part off-screen, and then, well, like, at the end of the game. I'll just do, uh... We'll just continue on. Here you go, Spyro. I found you a dragon egg. I'm kind of hoping if they do make a Spyro 4... Wait, how do I even... Oh, it's an, it's an automated elevator. I was going to say, if they do make a Spyro 4, I really hope that they bring back all the characters and make it like a super big game. Kind of like how Crash 4 was. Where... Is this downright a better game than the other Crash games, if you think about it? Oh, yeah, so... Okay. Okay. I... You've collected six eggs. 
Unlocked on the front end. What the frick is the front end? I think that's the concept uh, art one though, right? Right? I'm pretty sure that's what that one was. Oh, turret minigames. Yes, because I want to play more turret minigames. Gross, disgusting, never want to do that. Thank you very much. I love how I was just trying to get these guys and I ended up falling off the world. And finding an egg. So we know where the third light gym is, but we're still missing two eggs. Why do I keep spinning around like that? It's only with certain enemies or like... Items around the map. Okay, I don't appreciate your stupid staff attack there, buddy. It's just obnoxiously annoying at this point. I don't even know why I bother collecting all these gems. I think it's so I know that I back or that I did all this. Also, did you see that? This gem just doesn't exist. Okay. All right, this is Zoe here, and we're getting kind of close to a money bag teleporter, which is good. Oh yeah, it looks like we wall jump to get back up there if we want to. I don't see why we would need to though, because we've already completed that area. Oh, I'm pretty sure these platforms eventually fall. Yes, they do. That is not at all what I meant to do, game, but thank you for, uh... Whew. Oh, thank God. We found a safe haven for a second here. Okay. This is the light gem. Wait, is this even the way we're supposed to go? It is. But why would I even go back for those then? Oh, well, we'll get to watch them blow up. And looks like to get back up, we're gonna have to go this way. Woohoo! I need to figure out where the pathway we need to go is, because I don't get to see very much of this section. Where is it that we need to go anyway? I think these ones are just weighted, so I think... I think we have time to make it. If the breath doesn't work, that is. Uh, I rem- this is what I remember about- Okay. Game. Hmm. Yay. Woohoo! Sarcasm intended. Okay, so I guess it really doesn't matter too much if- Like, if you hit it at the same time you jump on it, but still? Okay, remember how I accidentally froze that one? Well, can I accidentally freeze it this time, please? Wait, some of these you can just kind of skip over the fact that you have to freeze them. Plus, they don't stay frozen long enough, which is another issue I have with these. Thank you. That's all I ever wanted. Now, where is the path out of here? Wait a second, what is that over there? I think we just took the, uh, the light gem path. Okay, thank god. Also, there's nothing there, you're just mining a blocked off wall? Alright. Alright, we're close to the new money bag section now, which is cool. We got steamroller bot there, and... No, 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 you're not gonna fall off right before we get to the checkpoint. No way. Okay. This looks concerning. Wait a second, money bags is over there. I know these are the like the weighted platforms that, you know, fluctuate depending on what 
Like what end you're on. Oh, they just have a sh shock wave. Also, unbreakable boxes. Also, enemies behind there. That's interesting. Also, a random super easy to get egg right next to Mooney Boogs. Hey, isn't this the last one? Yep. Sergeant Bird minigames are now unlocked on the front end. Like what 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 kind of like description is the front end? Also, there's gotta be something below here, right? Okay, so let's see what we got going on. Oh, there's a switch. Okay. Hopefully it's not timed, because I don't want it. Oh yeah. For some reason you don't have the double jump as junk. Double jump is blink, but you have to double jump as uh Spyro. Hmm. Oh, it is timed! Yay! I love timers in a game where charging isn't an option when running, or when uh, jumping. Uh, game, can, can you please let me see where I'm going so that way I can actually make it to that spot? Thank you. Oh, I also love being hit off-screen by some turd of an enemy. Like, whoever designed that, man. Oh, yeah, now my TV went back to sleep. I'm so confused with what it's even doing. Also, I hate you. You guys are way worse than the original Marks. Also, I don't know how long an enemy technically stays frozen for, but... Those guys don't seem any more difficult. Also, I hear a lot of lasers. Oh. Oh, come on, that's unfair, game. Wait. You're not at all who I was expecting to see up there. Alright, can you just stop already? Wait, does he even die? I don't think the guy even dies. Wait a minute, remember that one section that I was, like, thinking about that- Wait. Are you not gonna save my progress? So what is that little man going on about over there? That's annoying me. Oh, uh, I see. Whoa, what was that? Also, I see the dark gem. Okay, which way do we have to go? Like, which way do I have to face? Alright, we have to face this way again. Oh, there's the light gem over here. Nice! You think that's the last light gem before the, uh, the boss? Or before the boss. Nope, there's still one more in here. I was gonna say, you think that's the last light gem of the area? Oh, that's... Wait, what are you doing? I wanted him to turn around, but he ended up jumping, which, in the end, didn't affect us at all. But... Still, can you stop turning around and, like, actually let me jump? Now he's probably going to do an attack that somehow hit me that time. And we can destroy this dark gem. Nice. The walls, or the ceiling's gonna cave in. And that was the last of the- wait, where's the last light gem then? And last egg. It could be around here though, right? The dark- wait, that wasn't even the mine? Where the heck were we? Wait, he hit me when he was frozen game. You do realize how unfair that is. Now we're in the dark mine, which has- Wait, we were already in the dark mine. Why did that say we were in the dark mine? I'm so confused. The logic behind that is crazy. Are we still in the dark mine? Yeah, we're still in the dark mine, but... Okay. Why are there all these switches here? Oh wait, that was just the door again. It's one of those dual door ones you need to flip the switch to activate the door for a certain amount of time. Also, how come sometimes they don't actually show you what's changing and other times they do? Oh, 
Okay. This is not at all creepy. And not exactly the same as the last spot. Mm, interesting. Just long hallways of nothing and weird camera angles. We're, we're really close to the ground. It's super fun, I guess. Alright, so we made it to Rhodes Laboratory. So in the next episode, we're going to be exploring the worst area in the game, the final area in the game, before the final boss. So remember, join the Discord in the link below, same with the Patreon. Remember to leave a like because it helps with the video immensely, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.